It's interesting to stand here after these bonus slides. Uh, I'm quite grateful for this because uh, I'm not an informatician, but I'm a chemist. And uh, I would like to present here uh, a collaboration with uh, Camaxon, a collaboration between a chemist and uh, chemical informatics. Uh, and uh, how, how can um, Instant JCAM, uh, this particular prog program, uh, make uh, the chemists work in the laboratory more easy, searchable, how to create new databases uh, that can be used. Well, uh, right now it's not free and not open, it's only open for the, for the research group, but uh, this might be an option. First, uh, I would like to uh, talk, about, talk a few words about uh, our research group. Uh, our group leader is uh, Jörg Miklós uh, Keserű, and uh, we are the medicinal chemistry research group of the uh, Research Center uh, for Natural Sciences of the Hungarian Academy of Sciences. Uh, as you can see, our uh, lab staff uh, consists from almost uh, 40 people, uh, so we are doing uh, plenty uh, reactions because uh, most of, most of uh, us are uh, organic chemists. Uh, as you can see, uh, we are uh, publishing extensively our uh, results, uh, mostly in organic chemistry and medicinal chemistry uh, papers. Uh, let's take a look of uh, the research field of our group. Uh, we are uh, the medicinal chemistry research group, so therefore uh, we are targeting uh, important uh, medicinal chemistry problems, proteins, uh, GPCRs, particularly the dopamine cannabinoid receptors, the MGLUR5, uh, 5-HT receptors, we have uh, a couple of oncology projects uh, based on inhibiting the JAK-STAT signaling pathway, uh, and uh, we are also working on uh, RAS and uh, pediatric oncology uh, projects. Uh, we are also targeting uh, larger uh, systems as the, the immunoproteosome or antibodies or uh, intrinsically disordered uh, proteins. Um, one of our... Um, one of our newest uh, research fields is uh, the design of uh, covalent fragment and the covalently irreversibly or covalently re reversibly uh, inhibit uh, these kind of uh, receptors or uh, proteins. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, a lot of uh, international and uh, also, also national uh, collaborations, uh, also in academia and uh, in the field of uh, industry. What were our problems and our questions uh, that we uh, were looking for an answer? Uh, we are almost 40 people who are working in the lab and uh, we are doing, let's say, uh, around 5,000 reactions in a year. Uh, these reactions are, uh, were now uh, were in a paper format. So therefore, we couldn't search. We had to go to each other and, and ask uh, how to do a Suzuki reaction, how to do a Grignard uh, reaction. And uh, also our uh, reactant database uh, was uh, many times not really up to date because uh, by almost uh, 6,000 uh, compounds, 6,000 reactants, uh, we didn't have a, have a database that uh, every milligrams uh, that we consumed uh, was stored. Um, the ELN system uh, that uh, we, we wanted to have a, an, EL, an ELN system uh, that is connected with our database uh, that everyone of our research group can use, but uh, the ELN systems that are con commercially available, well, they, they are very expensive for us. Uh, so therefore, uh, we, uh, we uh, went to Camaxon and, uh, and uh, asked uh, Akos Tarcsai, the uh, senior, uh, uh, of Camaxon uh, to help us, and uh, he uh, he helped us. Uh, he he developed uh, an IGC uh, pro project, an instant JCAM project uh, that could be used uh, as a basic ELN. Now I would like to show you uh, in some pictures uh, the features of this ELN. First of all, uh, the user management. management. Everyone can have uh, a user account uh, logged with a password, uh, and uh, everyone can be a scheme administrator or normal user. You can see who is logged in uh, as the admin into the system, and uh, so every researcher can have uh, an individual copy of, uh, of, EL, of uh, this uh, electronic lab notebook system, uh, and, uh, and can, uh, can unify, can, uh, can uh, 
um, can change it, can change the can change the the, the lookout of uh, this uh, this feature uh, on his computer, on his monitor, for example. Let's see what it does. Uh, it is based on a lot of uh, data tables, uh, for example, reactions data table, building blocks data table. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, more than six, more than 5,000, uh, almost 6,000 uh, building blocks that uh, are used as uh, reactants. And uh, now this is in a in a uh, single table. Uh, the amount and uh, also the remaining amount, some physical data, the names, the structures. Uh, these are all uh, in in the database. These are all searchable, and uh, and uh, uh, we can add these into our reactions. How we can handle reactions? With this uh, well-known add uh, button, we can add new reactions to the table. Uh, and uh, uh, after that, we can we can fill in a couple of couple of rows. Uh, as you can see, this is a red one. No, sorry. First of all, as you can see, uh, the uh, for example, this is an alkylation reaction, and the sodium hydride is used uh, as the base. As you can see, this uh, sodium hydride, that is an ionic compound, uh, is um, should be first merged, uh, and then the program will, will uh, know that that is not uh, uh, the sodium and the hydride ion uh, that uh, it should use, but it should use those together. Uh, after that, you can see that uh, here is this, uh, red, uh, this red field, and uh, the add button that is uh, for adding the new reaction is closed. Well, sorry for that. Uh, first, we have to uh, use uh, a lab notebook number uh, that is uh, uh, that is that is absolutely required. And after that, we can fill in uh, what we want. We can fill in the temperature, the reaction time, how many, uh, what is the amount of the compounds uh, we would like to use, and so on. After that, we can add the reaction. Here is the surface. Here is the reaction. Here we will have a reactance table, building blocks, small table. Here is the experimental part where we can write in, and here are uh, other, many other things uh, that I will talk in the uh, next two minutes. If we push the analyze reaction, then wow, everything changes. Uh, let's take a look what happened. <clears throat> here in this reactance and building blocks table, every uh, building block that was searched in the, in the database is listed. Uh, as you can see, here are uh, three sodium hydride uh, rows. Uh, that means that our database is not perfect. In the 5,600 uh, compounds, there are many that uh, can be found in, uh, in uh, many rows and not only one. Uh, so therefore, we still have to uh, develop also our database. But from these, we can uh, choose that one we would like to use. After we have chosen, uh, only three compounds uh, is, uh, are in the reactance table. The first reactant, the sodium hydride, and uh, the last uh, reactant, the methyl iodide. Uh, this table is uh, also uh, um, able to uh, calculate uh, the stoichiometry. If we write in some stoichiometry, then it calculates the amount needed and also the volume needed. That is pretty much important for chemists who don't want to do mathematics, they want to do only chemistry. We can write in a reaction, workup, and the purification uh, uh, procedures. And uh, well, this one is kind of the most important thing. If someone does a Grignard reaction or a Suzuki reaction or any other reaction, it is very important to, uh, to, uh, to uh, write these things down to be reproducible. And uh, because, because if anyone else wants to reproduce or do another type of reaction, can have an idea how to work up, how to purify. We can also uh, set the status of the reaction, that it is, an, it is only an idea, or it is a reaction, or it is under purification phase that was unsuccessful. That is also very important. We can also... Uh, draw in the TLC plates, that is the basic uh, analytical method that we are using for following the reaction, if it is over or not. We can add the project name, 
we can add bibliographic uh, data that uh, what was the, the journal that uh, we, we were uh, uh, taken this idea. These fields are uh, all searchable and queryable. So therefore, if, uh, if we, we are uh, writing here uh, current status, let's say, idea, and we are searching for all the ideas, then it's listing all the reactions. That is also very useful for us. Uh, when we have a, tar a product compound, then uh, uh, if we write in the measured amount of the product, it calculates the yield for us, that is also very important. And uh, with this tick, we can add to the building blocks table our uh, product uh, compound, therefore it can be used thereafter uh, as a reactant if we want to go in a multi-step synthesis. Also, I would like to show you that all the reactions are, uh, are uh, um, in the can, can be uh, searched and can be found in the uh, reactions table uh, and uh, can be also searched. Uh, what, so, what was the answer of Camaxon? Uh, the answer of Camaxon was that uh, in, a, uh, in an IGC. IJC uh, um, IGC project, a basic ELN can be done. And uh, this ELN can be used for a research group uh, of, uh, of uh, working in, in academy. Uh, well, it is still in the test phase, uh, but now all of the lab members are testing, not only me, so that's, uh, that's much better. And uh, let's say in one month, uh, we will be on, uh, on phase two, when everyone will uh, give us uh, uh, their, their new claims, uh, what, what, how, how they want to develop it, it forward. Now, let's say that uh, this is satisfying these basic uh, needs of, uh, of our research group. I would like to uh, thank uh, Camaxon for uh, uh, letting the possibility for being here and for uh, this uh, development of, of this program. Uh, particularly, I would like to thank uh, Akos Tarcsai and uh, Adam Kelem and I would like to mention who is a PhD student and uh, who, is, uh, who was the first tester of uh, this program. Thank you for your great attention. <laughs>